Keeping prayer simple. Um, in the context of the Christian organisations, prayer is going to be an important part of any phone call and certainly may well be something which the person that you're speaking to wants to have with you. So we've got a section here on what is prayer? What is prayer? Prayer is communication with God, our Heavenly Father. It can take the form of worship, adoration, praise, thanksgiving, confession, intercession, and last but not least, lis listening. It can be spoken or silent, an attitude, meditation, contemplation. But it needs to be two-way, responsive, open and real. Many churches are used to having set prayers in liturgical services. If you are from that tradition, and there are prayers which are appropriate for you to use, then go ahead and use them. This may be particularly helpful for people who are used to this type of prayer. Most people know the Lord's Prayer and the Grace, and one or two others which are more widely used. These can be particularly helpful for some people at this time. Other people may well want you to pray with them in your own words. So I will now give you an introduction to praying for people. Who do we pray to? We pray to God, the Lord God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. We pray through Jesus Christ, his one and only Son, our Saviour. We pray in the power of the Holy Spirit, the helper and comforter, given to us by God. Why do we pray? Is it to alleviate our anxiety? Is it because a problem shared is a problem halved? Is it to get something off our chest? Or because we need someone to talk to? Is this about keeping someone in mind or thinking of them? For many people, all of these could apply. But prayer goes beyond simply talking with another human being. So what is it that makes prayer different? What matters is who we pray to. The important aspect of prayer is the recognition of who it is directed to and the power he has to bring to change. God is the creator of the universe. God with whom nothing is impossible. God who showed his love for us through Jesus, his son. God who knows each one of us and cares about us individually. God who is unchanging, the same yesterday, today and forever. God who can be trusted with our lives and knows what is best for us. God who listens when we cry out to him and he hears our prayer. God who forgives us our sins through his son Jesus taking them on himself. God who has the power to heal and make whole. God who changes lives and brings new meaning to our existence. God who knows the future and will direct our path. God who gives us the Holy Spirit as the confirmation of our inheritance. God who is truly God, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So what part do we play? When we pray for others, we intercede or represent them on behalf of themselves before God. But we come with them, we join with them, we accompany them as we come before the throne of grace and help them to connect with God. We offer a prayer with them in agreement that reflects their need. We unite with them in faith. We may be using telephone technology, but we are still one in spirit as we pray with them to our Heavenly Father. 
So what do we need to know to be able to pray? We will be asked to pray for a variety of things. We do not need to know all the circumstances of the situation. It may only be necessary to know the very basic information. Remember, God knows their need even before they speak on the telephone. So trust the Holy Spirit to fill the gaps in your knowledge. Keep the prayer simple. It is not by our might or power or skill, but by God's power that the prayer is heard and answered. Do not promise a specific answer as if you were Father Christmas answering a child for their request of a Christmas present. Do not make promises which you cannot keep because only God answers prayer. God will answer in the best way and time for the person. The challenge is, do you believe that God can and will answer prayer as you come before him? Do you believe that God intervenes in the world today? It is important to be continually in tune with God in all that we think, in all that we say and in all that we do. Answers to prayer. Do we expect answers to prayer? Does the person we're speaking to expect answers to prayer? Reassure them that God knows their need, that God's he God hears our prayer, that God listens to our prayer, and that God will answer prayer. But always remember, God has the final say, that God chooses how he answers, that God knows them and God knows what is best for them. And when God does answer, and God will answer, and if there is something which is a dramatic, miraculous answer to prayer, then always remember that all praise and glory are to be to him, for he is the one that hears us. He is the one that responds to us and he is the one that answers the prayer.